Hey, good afternoon. Today we're going to take a look at the Epson LabelWorks printer. Okay, and on the back of the box there's some uh, some of the easy features here that it goes into. It prints up to labels up to one inch wide, many compatible apps. This is a Bluetooth does have that feature, and uh, we'll take a look at the app and you know the software for the computer in just a minute. But uh, you can also talk to the app and it'll print what you say. Um, prints on the go. I guess you can take this anywhere you want. Obviously, it's a pretty small size uh, printer. The also has an automatic cutter built into it. So uh, let's go ahead and unbox it and let's check it out. All right. Does include a cartridge. I believe this is the half inch size to get you started. And it also includes a, let's see, quick start guide. Looks like this is the cable to plug from your computer to the printer itself. And you have a power cable. What else is in here? It looks like a power cable. And then you have the printer itself here. Okay, so going through the quick start guide, it, I mean, it's, I mean, this was fairly straightforward, and um, you know, it also does mention where you can print out. And typically, a lot of guys will use this for labeling cables and and the telecom industry, but there's also a section here where you can label, you know, flavored bags or ribbons or. Um, and it just gives you some ideas of other things that you can do. And you can also do, uh, looks like QR codes, but the one thing that I was thinking about was on the back, on the box, it mentioned on the go, and I thought, well, what do you mean on the go? It's got power, but you need to power it. But the bottom or on the, where exactly is it here? There is, here we go. You can put in AA batteries. It looks like it takes six of them. And that way you don't even need a power source. And with the Bluetooth for your phone, that's pretty nice convenience if you gotta you know go somewhere and maybe you know it's just a nice little extra in life. So the cartridge itself loads up pretty easily. And the one that's included is the half inch. So Okay, so here's the software. I just thought I'd give you guys a quick look at uh, you know when you install it, what to expect, what it looks like. Up here you have the file, edit, view, insert, layout, text, settings, windows, help. Pretty much a lot of this stuff. It feels very like Publisher or Word. It's very common. You should be able to hang, catch the hang of this very easily. It's very simple and straightforward. The, the preferences here, there is quite a... Looks like there's a bit more you can do with your labeling. So if you really want to nitpick it and make something really awesome that nobody else has, you could probably do that with the software that's included with this. The one button that caught my eye right here was the ribbon repeat print. Um, it's also the different sizes that you can select. I selected the half inch because that's what was included with the printer. The, what else is there? There's the screen capture fit to label. There's the cut. There's the, the border. You can also select many different types of borders to go around your um, whatever it is you're printing. There's the barcode. There's the QR code. You can insert also an image onto the label if that's what you want to do. And you also have your delete, erase, selected block. Um, the other thing I thought that was pretty cool was the symbol. There is there are quite a few symbols that you can also select to you know, include with your labeling in case you're in the data center environment. You can go ahead and add some uh, symbols, audio visual, electrical. A few of them here. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Maybe warn somebody about somebody about getting shocked. Uh, environment. Let's see what else is there. Exit. Facility, as you can tell, facility, there's quite a few to select from. What else do we have here? Fire. Lab, life, office. Retail, shopping. Okay, target. So there's, uh, okay, transportation. Looks like that's it, but there are quite a few. That's kind of a nice little feature if you really want to, you know, put a little pop to your labeling. So, uh, I just 
wrote something down here really quick and straightforward. And you can also select the fonts. There's quite a few of them to select from, so if you really want to uh, give your font a certain look, your, your writing, you can go ahead and do that. So, let's see here. No black. Okay, let's just print this and see what it looks like, and then we'll check out the software on the, the app for your phone here in just a minute. Okay, so we have our app here, the Epson iLabel, which was found on the Google Play Store. And it looks like we start off at the top with new label, or you can create the QR code, the barcode. There's also the label catalog, date and time, online service, history. And you can also buy tape uh, from your phone. On the bottom here, you have your printer settings. You have your margins, tape cut on and off. So you can make multiple copies if you want to. Uh, tape feed, maybe you want to just uh, get the tape you know, fed a little bit. And let's go back. So online services, date and time. The label catalog had me kind of curious. It looks like there's, you know, quite a few. Well, here's the store and plant. Looks like there's a few. What else is in here? Hospital. Do not x-ray. Maybe, yeah, I guess it makes good sense. You're on the go. You want something on the fly, possibly. Pipes and valves. Caution, warning, and it looks like that's pretty much where it starts right there. So there's also a handful of options there for you in the catalog, in the app. The barcode, looks like there's a handful of different barcode types that you can select from. There's the QR code, and the, let's create a new label. That's what I did earlier, so let's go ahead and just kind of curious as far as the the font if we can select many of the same fonts there's a ton of them here so I'm assuming that pretty much you can do that it's going to be the same fonts that are in the desktop software okay and then there's the the history had me kind of curious also the file let's go history okay so it'll save some of the stuff you maybe typed in earlier back to new label and we'll keep the same that we had earlier and on the bottom here it looks like we just go ahead and print the print button and away it goes okay so here's our little label that we print cable it's kind of nice the it holds it there for you instead of you know um, falling on the ground trying to nitpick it but another thing I like about these labels is they're split right down the middle here so when you need to peel it, there you go. Makes it a lot easier for you. And it's trying to, instead of trying to nitpick, you know, a corner, sit there for, I don't know, a minute or two sometimes, trying to nitpick one little, drives me crazy. But um, that's just another nice feature about it, and the labels themselves. So there it is, the LW600P by Epson. For a more detailed spec sheet, uh, there should be a couple PDFs on the website when you search for that part number. And you can also order online at discountlowvoltage.com.